Morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. I wonder how satisfied are you on a scale of one to ten? How satisfied would you would you rate yourself? And what would make you more satisfied, I wonder? What is it that brings you a real sense of satisfaction? I wonder if you can think of a time when maybe you've you've bought something, something that you were looking forward to, and then you've been disappointed by the reality. You know, it might be something as simple as, I don't know, buying a, you know, buying an ice cream. You've been, you know, in this hot weather, you've been looking forward to an ice cream, and then when it when it comes, it's like half the size of what you thought it would be. And the disappointment that comes with that, I mean, I'm just, you know, speaking from my own experience. What does Jesus say will bring us satisfaction? In the Beatitudes, there's this line, Matthew 5, verse 6, where Jesus is, is teaching what it means to be blessed. And Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. So when we make our main kind of desire, righteousness, being right with God, then actually whatever else is going on, whatever our circumstances are doing, however tight things are getting in the cost of living crisis, If our main goal is righteousness, being right with God, if that's the thing that we're hungering after, then we will find ourselves satisfied. And so, yeah, there are all sorts of other things that the world wants us to chase after. But we need to keep the main thing, the main thing, to chase after righteousness. And then we will know true satisfaction. It's interesting when... You know, when people complain about something, how many times fixing the the problem they've complained about doesn't make a difference for them? You know, it's too cold in the building, and so we turn the heating up. But but actually, that, that doesn't satisfy them. Often what tends to happen is they just find something else to complain about. And it's it's because that, that fundamental hunger after righteousness is... Is out of line. It's it's not it's not there, and they just move on to a new complaint and a new complaint and a new complaint. Because true satisfaction comes from living a righteous life, seeking to follow after God, and not from kind of fixing all of the problems that we perceive around us. Satisfaction comes from hungering and thirsting after righteousness. I want to pray that God will grow that hunger and thirst in us. Let's pray. Lord, I want to pray for each uh, one of us now. However satisfied we feel. Lord, that you would prompt us to look for satisfaction in the right place not in fixing stuff that we perceive to be wrong, not in chasing after worldly things, but, but Lord, keeping our eyes fixed on you, seeking to live in right relationship with you, hungering and thirsting after righteousness. God, would you, would you work on our hearts today? And would you kind of stir up in us that hunger and thirst after righteousness that we might know true satisfaction, for we ask it in Jesus' name.